it's been a real journey over the last 12 months. We've always known that it was all about sussing out people, sussing out authorities and, and groups and how everything links together and can then be made to work together. Claire Prosper, who was the brainchild of, of the Newcastle Cycling Campaign. It took her a while to convince me and to explain to me what a campaign is, but eventually, I mean, she was right. We needed a campaign, and what the Newcastle Cycling Campaign is really about is, on the one hand, to provide this minority group of uh, cyclists with a, with a bit of a safe haven almost, you know, where, where we can just be ourselves and exchange views, um, safe from the outside world um, and develop what we're standing for and what we want. Um, and then on the other hand, of course, to be outward turning, being a pressure group to work with the decision makers, so that might be the politicians, might be the council officers. It was very important for us to get our aims and priorities right. But what has really been galvanizing over the last year or so is that we are about safe space for cyclists. We could call ourselves the Cycleway Movement Campaign. Um, it is about getting more cycle lanes, more space for cyclists, cycle paths, you know, on, uh, on busy roads, properly segregated space for cyclists. It's always the same, you know, when you talk to people who, who might just not cycle at all, or might just cycle occasionally, or are the typical leisure cyclists who cycle away from traffic. Um, and you ask them, why do you not cycle more? Um, the answer is, well, there are no cycle lanes. It's the same answer over and over again. Council officers really, really frustrating uh, and really difficult to work with. So, you know, and then you think, oh God, you know, what, what to do next? Um, and of course, the council structure is such that next level up is the councillors, and that's what we're trying to do now to work with the, with the political um, side and, uh, you know, try to get this political will sorted. And there has been some progress made, so it's, it's, you know, starting to look hopeful. Never ever anything is going to be fast, of course, but, uh, you know, no, we, we've had some good discussions, some good um, successes uh, with our cycle manifesto, which has been adopted into Council's transport um, policy. And some political will is starting to emerge, which is very, very hopeful for the future. The Safe Cycling in Newcastle petition was an online petition and 800 people signed it. And I really did believe by handing over that petition that things would change. Um, well, they didn't, and the Newcastle Cycling Campaign was born. But during that petition, I had a lot of contact with people who already cycle, despite the bad provision out there for cyclists. And what you got to hear was, it's scary out there, it's a nightmare. Yes, I cycle, but I wouldn't cycle in certain areas because I just don't know where to go. It doesn't make sense. Cycle lanes just stop. You know, whenever you need them, they're not there. <laughs> Whenever the road narrows, the cycle lanes stop, but that's probably where you exactly need them. Cycle lanes are parked up with cars, so unusable. In other words, you are back on the road sharing with, with the drivers. Um, and yeah, it was, 
a lot about highlighting this situation of conflict between the cycling folks and, and the drivers. With the Newcastle Bicycle Festival, it's all positive. It's something that comes straight off, out of the cycling community. You know, as I, as I say, I, I think cycling really is a minority and we need to look after ourselves and help each other out and solidarity and, you know, stand together. And it's a whole weekend of cycle activities. It's just going to be brilliant. I want the rule on pedals. What would you wear on the bike? The debate needs to be opened up about how we use our public space, how we use our city, cities and towns for everyone. I am a strong believer that cycling has been ignored by a lot of political parties. However, in saying that, um, with a new administration coming in, there has been a, a lot more exchange and a lot more willingness to sit down and listen um, and do things as well. So we seem to have found the right people to work with now.